Will Morgan Stanley prove its credibility? The financial supervisory service and the Korea Exchange have launched an investigation into a foreign investment bank. Their target is Morgan Stanley, which published a report on the semiconductor sector titled Vintage Coming. On September 15th, Morgan Stanley slashed the target stock prices of SK Hynix from 260,000 won to 120,000 won. It pointed out that the demand for dynamic random access memory was decreasing and there's a high risk of oversupply of high bandwidth memory. Morgan Stanley deserves punishment if it had made an advanced sale using undisclosed information. The problem is that Macquarie also lowered the largest lowered the target stock price of Samsung Electronics from 125,000 won to 64,000 won, calling it a sick semiconductor giant. On September 2nd, Samsung Electronics stock price hit the 50,000 won level and marked a new 52-week low. But there are also objections. Post SK Hynix has mastered produced a 12 layer HBM3E, which embodies the maximum capacity of 36 GB. The new HBM3E will be delivered to NVIDIA in the fourth quarter when NVIDIA's Blackwell series is launched next year. The products will become mainstream in the market. Second, the growth of the global in artificial intelligence AI market is rapidly moving from uh, leaning to inference. The AI inference chip market is expected to grow 24 times in seven years by 2030. The rapid growth of AI inference chips will benefit Samsung Electronics and SK Hynix leaders of the DRAM market. Third, shares of Micron Technology, the largest memory chip producer in the United States, surged 14% after surprise earnings on September 26th. Another good news is that Micron's HBM chip, set to be manufactured this year and next year, have sold out. The optimistic guidance is the concerns over winter in the chip industry. Samsung Electronics earnings announcement on October 8th will be the first to show which view is right. Morgan Stanley called SK Hynix the least prepared stock among global memory companies. If the report is wrong, I wonder who should embrace the whining investors who believed the report and sold up at a loss.